One of the most strongest and powerful movies uh, I've ever seen on film. Uh, the movie is called Philadelphia, and um, it stars Tom Hanks, of course. Tom Hanks, both in Denzel Washington. Yeah, um, it's 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 a really really fucked up kind of movie. It, but it's so powerful. Yeah, it's like it was. Um, it's really really hate driven, like. It's basically kind of reminds me of a hate crime type of I mean, because, you know, it, this is all about, um, you know, in the uh, 80s when AIDS started. AIDS just started. You know, and, uh, you know, everyone thought whoever had AIDS was homosexual. Yeah, and, and you know, it was about, Tom Hanks is the one with AIDS. Yeah. And uh, Denzel Washington ends up becoming his lawyer, even though everything was discriminated against Tom Hanks. He... Like, so much shit was happening to him, all this fucked up stuff, they were saying all this crap, and yeah. only yeah. one person would stand up for him, which was really Denzel Washington. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it was really sad watching, like, the film, because, I mean, he plays this guy, Andrew Beckett, he's like, he works with this huge fucking law firm, so, it's like, he was like, really respected, and, and, and of course, he's in Philadelphia, and it turns out he has AIDS, and then... He gets discriminated for his homosexuality, and he ends up filing this uh, court suit, and no one wants to help him. That's and sad. it's and about yeah. Denzel. Yeah. yeah. It's and about the, one man's triumph, basically. Uh, and funny thing is, Antonio Banderas is Tom Hanks' partner. Yeah, his Never think you would say, like, have that, like, Tom Hanks. Yeah. And then you have, like, Antonio Banderas. But mm -hmm. who knows? But I mean, like you said, it's it's a, it's not like a movie you like want to watch and go, gee whiz, this yeah. is gonna be fun. It's, you gotta no, watch it's it. It's a like intense because it's like he's about to like get this promotion or whatever. But then they find it, out that he's yeah. It's he looks like this real important case at his law firm, and that it, it's fucked up because he's just about to get it, and they notice this lesion on his head, and it turns out they find out that he has AIDS, and they think that he's gay, which he is, but he's not open to it, so they just fire him. And, and it's really fucked up. And then, you know, you have that famous speech that Denzel does. Yeah. I mean, like, a family guy kind of, like... Yeah. Put that clip in where, like, they broke the law when they fired him for showing homosexual. And then, like, Brian's like, yeah. what's that? Oh, the, I thought that was food. Yeah, right. and but, the whole the whole case was, like, back at the Tom Hanks' character. He thinks that someone, like, deliberately hid these, like, pa this paperwork that he had to get to the firm like, deliberately hit him so they could have, like, this pretext of firing him. So that's why he goes to court. And finally, he of course, he finds Denzel Washington, yeah. stands up for him. And jo Jonathan Demme, he directed it, and he did, he did a really, really good job. And, of course, uh, Ron Nyslunner, he, he wrote it. And I haven't heard, I haven't really, most films don't have great stories. Like, I mean, they do, but... A lot of n newer films now are just, like, really special effects driven, but this, like, every time I watch it, it really takes me back to where everything's about the characters and the story and the power behind it and the emotion. And e it's just everything about this film is just truly inspiring and truly incredible, and it goes to show that, like, there are good people out there that actually help you, that yeah. help people like that. And it's great, it's a great, it's a great film that, uh... I think everyone needs to watch, and of course I give it a 5 out of 5. I mean, it's just an awe-inspiring film. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 4.5, because, you know, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, the movie's great, it's amazing, but, you know, sometimes movies are too depressing to kind of make you feel bad, you know? Yeah. Um, like, I don't, like, when I watched, the first time I watched, like, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, I, it was just such a sad kind of idea yeah and then like it just it just ugh. yeah I think I give it a 4.5 too uh, even though it's an incredible film it's it's just it's so of, sad that you don't want to watch you don't want to watch it a million times it's like a one two time deal really. I mean if it's one two time deal and if you see it eventually yeah. lay on TV or something you want to watch yeah. I mean it's just one of those movies where like you, you, you it's just yeah <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's not it's not bad it's great it's just that there are movies that are, off there movies are sad, sad and fine to watch, and there's movies like this that are sad. 
like the like up for instance like the first 10 minutes like one of the saddest openings ever yeah. but still a great fun movie at the end but yeah. nonetheless 4.5 check it out love it like it love it like it whatever <laughs> check it out it's great stay tuned for more Tom Hanks well yeah